Hey, Steve Basic Architect. Yeah, we're out here at our Build Show Build Boston site. And I'm looking out at those trees and you're probably wondering why we're starting here. Well, if I panned up a little, put the sun in our eyes, but basically that is due south. And why does that matter? Well, if I pan 180 degrees, you'll understand why. Yeah, so we have our solar array up there. So there we're looking at, I wanna say it's probably somewhere around 15 or 16 kW AC um, on that roof. And um, on that roof there, that sloped roof off to the southwest we have another 5 kW and then in the cabana that we're going to put right here we're going to have another 5 kW on it so we're going to be somewhere in around the 24 25 kW um, AC and um, but yeah it's uh, looking good and you know that ski slope of a roof looks perfectly due south so I'll take a pan across here and uh, we'll just get a quick shot of that other roof and uh, give you a nice shot obviously you can see we're in the process of putting the pool in here I uh, just shot a video for that but um, you know, all of these sloped roofs with the standing seam metal, we took advantage of. I mean, our goal is to uh, obviously have an all electric house that is uh, zero energy in the end. Now, I know some of you uh, are probably saying, yeah, solar, you never get your money back. Solar isn't free. I get it. I heard it all. Been doing zero energy houses for 20 plus years and you know here in New England we have one of the highest electrical rates in the country and we couple that with a lot of very good incentives and so when you do the math I have a series of houses that are zero energy houses that yes the solar array is paying for itself in probably somewhere around four and a half, five to, you know, six years or so. And, you know, all of the products are warranted for 20 years. So you're gonna get, you know, 14 years plus of energy. And you're going to have all of the deferred energy bills right from the get-go because we're taking advantage of the sun rising every day. And yes, it's that simple. But I'm going to go inside here and show you part B of the equation. So we're just going to go in the garage here. Our garage, you can see, fully conditioned. We have our 18 garage doors, but uh, there is our battery storage. So yes, we're gonna be making power outside and we're also gonna be storing it for use right here and for, uh, you know, potential power outages, etc. The house will uh, have a panel that um, basically gets its power from all of the batteries here. So these are N phase, my first time using them. So I'm not uh, quite familiar with their uh, makeup. I'm gonna do a little bit of education on it. But um, yeah, that's the second part of our equation. 
And uh, while we're in here, we might as well do a quick tour of the garage because it's all plastered and painted. We have our stair loft up there, up to storage. So we have our stairs. We have our little scuttle there. That is for our magic lift, right? It's a little cable elevator. And uh, like I said, you can see we have our garage doors on. I don't know if you've ever used these before, but they're called thermal tracks where they uh, basically are pushing the door against a gasket there so that you get a, you know, far better than average air seal. You can see here, right? You have that gasket and they run up, but you can see here when the wheel comes down, it goes here and basically forces the door up against. So it's almost like driving a wedge in the back of the door. And you can see here, I guess if we go over here, you can see exactly how those wheels align with that bump in the rail, right? So they park there and then that bump in the rail forces the door to go against that weather stripping. So you get a really good seal on that system. And uh, I'll throw that up again only because they have a nice sticker here. So that's the thermal tracks. All right, and you can see the little bow in the track at every one of the wheels there. So yeah, um, we have our coils up at the top and we'll also have our garage door opener. So be uh, sidewinders you can see there. So they're not coming up. They're not gonna be your traditional across the middle here. We're actually wired, you can see over in the corner there. And uh, we'll have our openers there. And then uh, the last tidbit about the basement is, you know, we have our stairs down to the basement. So we get full access to the loft above us with the stairs, but we also get full access to the basement below us. So, all right, well, there you have it. That is a little talk about how we're taking our Build Show Build Boston house to zero energy. And uh, we're doing it with a uh, conditioned garage, so. Thanks for joining in. I greatly appreciate it. Got any questions, certainly throw them in the comments. I, you know, visit them regularly and uh, I'll do my best to answer it. And, uh, you know, drum up a discussion. Certainly, I'd love to take part of it. So anyways, you all have a great day. Thanks for joining in. And of course, long live our buildings. Steve Basic Architect, signing off. <laughs>